as you saw in the thumbnail we are going to create something like this so let's start from the scratch here let's just go to file let's just create a new file here we are going to delete all the default that blender provides so let's just press the a key and let's just press delete here now i'm going to create a shape which is going to look like a cloud so we are going to create a base shape which is going to look like a cloud to get started here let's just press the shift a key let's just go to mesh and let's just create a cube here now we are going to edit it in a way that it looks like somewhat like a cloud here so let's just go to our edit mode by pressing the tab key let's just go to polygon click on this and we are going to extrude it out so let's just press the e key and extrude this do the same thing for this now i'm going to do here as well let's do something like this here as well so i'm just clicking and pressing the e key and extruding it out okay let's just do something like this here as well okay let's just do like this as well here here same thing so just do a random shape which is going to look like a cloud or act like a cloud here so let's just do here something like this and now what i'm going to do i'm going to do a proportional editing so i'm going to click here press the o key so now you can see if i press the g key you see this circle here so it influences how much radius you want or your proportional editing to be so if i press the g key right now you can see it's only moving this but if i increase this by scrolling in and scrolling out you can see it's now uh, basically doing this as well so it's influencing this as well so let's just reduce this now let's just do something like this here as well so just give a basic cloud shape that you want for your surface here okay it doesn't need to be precise here you can take your own shape as well or something like that if you want to do this okay let's just do it here and i'm going to select this as well and let's just do here as well so this is just a rough shape to get started okay yeah this is looking nice and now what i'm going to do i'm going to just go out of my uh, edit mode here by pressing the tab key again so let's just go out and i'm going to move this upward here okay something like this so let's just zoom out a bit and now you can see we have this shape here so now what i'm going to do i'm going to add a subdivision modifier so before doing that let's just right click and do a shaded smooth here and let's just go to our modifiers let's just add a modify here and we are going to add a subdivision surface to smooth this out so let's just do a two level in viewport so we can exactly see how this is looking so you can see this is how it is looking here okay now you can edit it further by pressing the tab key and taking the shape that you want here as well so you can see we are giving this shape here as well okay give as per your need here you can resize it uh, stretch it squash it as per your requirement okay so let's just do something like this okay and now i'm going to again go out of my edit mode here let's just add a displace modifier to displace this further so let's just add a displace here and i'm going to add a texture here so let's just click here as well and i'm going to add a cloud texture so let's just go to clouds and you can see it's looking jagged here so just increase the size here around like 1.5 to 2 to get that smooth shape okay so yeah this is looking nice okay and now what i'm going to do i'm going to just take a copy here so i can extend it further if i want to so just press the shift d key and just take a copy here right now okay so we are going to add it so i'm just going to press the shift d key in the x i'm going to move it here and i'm going to hide it now let's just go to our original shape and apply all the modifiers so first apply the subdivision modifier and then apply the displace modifier now in order to convert this to a volume we need to add a volume tab here so press the shift a go to volume and here you will find two tabs import open vdb so if you are using a houdini workflow you can import the simulation from houdini itself by importing the uh, uh, by exporting the open vdb and importing it here but we want this to convert to vdb so we are going to go to volume and click on empty and now i'm going to click on add modifier making sure that my volume is selected okay just go to add and search and add mesh to volume so it will convert your mesh to a volume here just click your object and hide the object so you can see we have this shape here which is really low quality so what you can do you can first increase the density to 3 to see it properly and just increase the voxel amount to 256 or 128 or 164 depending on the 
CPU or uh, you are using. Okay, the system you are using. So now you can see this is looking like this, but I want to make it uh, much more uneven, much more noisier. So I get some procedural cloud type of effect. So you can do it by adding a modifier and adding a displace. But what we are going to do, we are going to add a volume displace here. And again, we are going to add a cloud texture here as well. So let's just add a cloud texture here. And you can see the result here. It's looking something like this. And let's just increase the size here. Okay. Till you get some variation here as well. And again, go to modifier and just increase the strength till you get a result you want. So now you can see this is the result of four. This is the result of three. Okay. This is looking nice here as well. Okay. So something like this is looking good, but you cannot know until you render this. So let's just go to render. We are going to use cycles because we want to apply a volumetric shader here and volumetrics works really well with cycles rather than an engine. We want a realistic approach. So let's just do cycles here and we are going to convert it to GPU compute and let's just go to our render. Okay, by pressing the Z key and you can see it's looking black here because we don't have any sky here or sun here. So let's just go to world. And let's add a sky texture here. And now you can see this is looking much, much better. Okay. If I go and do something like this here as well. Yeah, this is looking nice. And now what I can do, I can play with the elevation. So I want it to be going upward. So because I want a really uh, afternoon scene or something like this here, you can see the result here as well. You can zoom it a bit. Okay. You can... Uh, 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 rotate the sun as well by going to rotation and getting some really good result okay but right now you can see it's really thick i want like light to pass into my clouds here so you can do that thing here but let's just decrease the intensity here to like say 0.34 or something like that yeah this is looking nice and let's just add a material here so let's just click on new i'm going to name it to cloud and by default, it's going to do a volume because this is a volume shader. And this is the thing here. You can change the color. So if you want like a cloud, like something like this for your product visualization, you can totally do that. Okay, let's just take the saturation to zero. So we have this white cloud and let's just increase this here, the color and decrease the density. here. So now you can see the result. Okay, this is looking much, much better here as well. And you can hide the grid and all that stuff as well. And now I want the light to pass. So I'm going to increase the anisotropy here. And this is looking much, much better here. Okay, so you can see the result. And now you can play with the lighting as well. The sun rotation as well. Okay, so I am going to increase the strength here to let's say 0.5. And this is looking nice. Okay, and now what you can do. If you remember, we hide this cube here. Okay, so let's just go to our solid again. Okay, and if what I can do, I can add this cube here as well. So I'm going to select this, move this here. Okay, something like this. So now you can extend the cloud here. Okay, let's just do something like this. Rotate it a bit, something like this. You can do a random rotation as well, doesn't matter. You can resize it as well. If you want to go for local resize, you can do that as well. Okay, like something like this here and this here. Okay, it doesn't matter the shape. You can tweak it as per your requirement. And now you can see it's looking something like this. Okay, you can move it here. Okay, and now what you can do, you can add a one more volume by pressing the shift D, pressing enter and replace this cube here by going to modifier with our this cube, new cube. Okay, and if I select it from here, you can see it's selected. And if I hide this cube here, now you can see the result. So if I go to render here, now you can see we are getting this long cloud or something like this. See. Okay. So this is how you can create the cloud. And now you can play with the variation here as well. So what you can do, you can increase the strength here. Let's say six. And now you can see it's spread out here. Okay. So you can get some really good results. You can decrease the density here as well. So if I go to two, you can see these two clouds are combined now. Okay, and the same way you can do the bottom as well as you saw in my video as uh, as you saw in my thumbnail as well. So what you can do, you can unhide this cube here. Okay, let's just go out of our render mode here and you can just take this cube, press the shift D. Okay, take it downward here and just uh, make sure that it has some shape. Just stretch it out a lot. Okay. A lot by mean what I mean by lot. So let me show you. So let's just do something like this. Let's just stretch it out. 
okay something like this like this okay so you get that shape here now let's just rotate it like this okay so you can see this big shape here which you can see here as well and now you can add that volume here so, so press the shift shift d key here okay so you have one more volume and what you are going to do you are going to select this cube now okay and now you can see you have this volume so if i hide it here you can see we have this big cloud now okay so if i go to render you can see the result here as well okay so this is how easy it is to create clouds in blender i am going to show you some more workflows like using geometry nodes to create clouds would you need to create clouds and importing them in blender so i will see you next time but before that if you like this types of video please comment so i can know what you guys want to learn and how you, if you guys if you guys are liking this video or not if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel share it with your friends who wants to learn blender leave that like and i will see you next time till then take care guys bye bye